Hi guys, welcome to The Den, and this week we're talking about body issues. Initially, when this subject was brought up, I was all for it. It was something I... I feel like I've grown quite a bit, and it's something that I was really looking forward to. And now that it's here, it's been something I've been struggling with all week. i um, been working lots, but besides that, I do myself have a lot of body issues. And still to this day, much like Aaron's video, I was the chubby kid growing up. I had very low self-esteem. I did have quite a few friends, very loyal, trusting friends, but it being the chubby kid, you just kind of feel a little bit unloved. and. It's really tough. So, coming from a family where both your brothers were super skinny and both your parents were lean and you were the big one in the family, it was really awkward. Not to mention the fact that everyone in the family had brown hair and brown eyes and I was the chubby kid with blonde hair and green eyes. So, it, it was... I, I felt out of place quite a bit and a lot of that had to do with my weight. When I was 13, I, you know, as kids do, I went through puberty. I got more into sports, I got more involved and more physically active, and I did lose quite a bit of weight. I was, I think, 140 pounds, uh, size 32 jeans. I, I was quite thin, to the point where some of my family actually looked at me and thought that I was sick. I, I was that thin. And I had gone through a lot of stuff emotionally that year, and it's not something that I'm ready to talk about, but I went through a lot of emotional stuff and moved back home from living with my father. I moved back home to my mother's and I didn't deal with the emotions properly. And in the summer between grade nine and grade 10, I went from 140 pounds to probably 240 pounds. So when I went back to school in grade 10, nobody recognized me. Everyone was shocked and surprised, and I took that really hard. I didn't know how to react. So the fact that everyone recognized the weight gain really bothered me quite a bit. And what do most chubby kids do? They, they eat, and that's what I did. And I gained a lot of weight, and by the time I was 20, I was 345 pounds. And... I just one day decided enough is enough and I was having a lot of issues physically and I decided that I wanted to try veganism and I did that for three years and in the first year I lost over a hundred pounds and so by the end of three years of veganism I was down to 180 pounds and back into a size 36 jean uh, 36 comfortably I could actually squeeze my butt into a 34 um, so that was actually quite rewarding, but as I had gained so much weight quite quickly between grade 9 and grade 10, I had actually gained quite a few stretch marks across my stomach and physically stretched out my body a little bit. And despite having lost all that weight and feeling good about myself, there was still a part of me that I, I didn't feel comfortable in public without a shirt on, and I still don't to this day. It's... The, the few pictures you've seen of my chest exposed, a little bit of my stomach, that that I'm comfortable with, but anything else is completely out of my comfort zone, and it's really tough for me. Um, being on the den and meeting more members of the bear community and other guys like myself, it it makes me feel a lot more comfortable with myself. and And I think that's one of the things about this whole experience that I've appreciated the most is because it's helped me with my body issues and it's helped me to grow a lot. So I'm going to have a couple pictures up here on the side and just show you what I looked like when I was at my biggest and and this is me now. I'm 200 pounds and I wear a size 38 jean but I can fit into a 36. Actually, 38s kind of fall off my ass because, let's face it, I have no ass. So every day I'm learning to appreciate and love myself quite a bit more, and I just want to thank all you fans and the other guys on the den. Thank you very much for all your support. You've been amazing and helping me. Whether you realize it or not, you've helped me tremendously with some body issues, and I'm eternally grateful for all of that. So I just wanted to say thank you. 
All right, so I, I don't want to go too deep this week. Um, I've got a lot going on, and like I said before, this is a really tough subject for me. So, so that's it for today, guys. I hope you enjoyed the videos this week. I also just wanted to to give a little note to Spencer. Um, last week was his last week, and we're all going to miss him tremendously. He was the one who I looked up to most, I would say, on the den, simply because he he's expressed his anxieties and his his stuff that he's got going on and every week he seemed to rise above it and despite what was going on he put out amazing videos week after week so thanks for for all the great viewing Spencer I'm gonna miss you tremendously but you know I'm on Facebook so we'll chat alright so look forward to next week's video guys and have a great week thanks for watching